Here's Ryan on a bootleg back to his right. Mack going to look. Pitts is wide open. Kyle, the wide open catch, 37, thrown down at the 34, and another Atlanta first down in Dallas territory. Hey there, Falcons fans. Welcome to Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Service. I'm DJ Shockley, and I want to break down a couple things that happened in that Dallas Cowboys game and show you why the Falcons offense is starting to get to a level where you want them to be, but it has to be more consistent. But let's start with this good play here that we have with Kyle Pitts here on this over route. So here's where you start. You start in 12 personnel, which is one two tight ends and one back. Here's your two tight ends here. You got Kyle Pitts, you got Hayden Hurst right here. But you also got one back, which is Cordell Patterson here. You start in a five wide set. So now this is giving a look to the defense like this is automatic pass, and then you don't know what's going to happen next. On the snap, here it is. They change now. So you're going from one entire complete formation to another complete formation here. Now you get into the bunch set. Here's Kyle on the backside. And now what you're going to run here is the neck and bootleg here. You're going to fake this outside zone, and you're going to release back this way from Matt Ryan. Now here's Kyle Pitts on the over route. Kyle Pitts is going to come through here and run the over route this way. On the other side, what really works and why this helped is because you got this bunch set, the guy that really seals it is Hayden Hurst right here. He's going to seal this defensive end, which allows Matt to get around the corner and have free access and nobody in his face. And the routes are coming out here. You got a little flat route here by the inside guy. And on the top guy, you're going to have a corner route. And remember, you have Kyle Pitts coming across here on an over route. Now, as the play gets started, I'm going to show you exactly. Boom, there's a seal. Heels, Hayden Hurst on the seal route. So usually this guy comes up field and he gets in the face of the quarterback and he doesn't have time to throw or see what's going on down the field here. But because you have this seal, because you put him in position right away, because of the bunch set, now you can seal off the edge and now you got a chance to get around the corner. Now you get outside. Now you see what Matt has. He has nothing in front of him, nobody to give him pressure. Here's Kyle Pitts coming across on the over route. They couldn't get in position fast enough. This got the corner out the way. This got the other nickel guy out the way. Now you have free access for Matt to throw this football and a nice, easy window and a big-time completion there on second down to pick up a first down and also get the ball into one of your playmakers. Love the way started five wide, then came inside to the bus set. Each guy did their job, and now you have a big-time completion to one of your playmakers. All right, let's jump on the defensive side of the ball. Well, CeeDee Lamb had a big day, but I'm going to tell you why he had a big day and what happened on some particular routes and concepts that allowed him to have this kind of access. Now, this is the route here. Here's CeeDee Lamb here in the slot. He's going to run a corner route to this top side. Now, we're in man coverage, but the only thing that hurts the Falcons and hurts us here is here's a guy who has him in man coverage. He's already in inside leverage because this guy, Deion Jones, is, is over the tight end. But Dion's actually going to blitz, and then they're going to replace. This is the guy who's going to replace the guy that's carrying him. He's going to cut to whoever comes across on the shallow cross. So it could be this tight end, or it could be Lamb. It just depends on who goes inside first. Now, you're going to get a little outside route here that's going to get the corner out of the way. Now you have nothing but field and grass to throw this football. Now, here's another thing to look at. This is a tight split. So because this is such a tight split in this bunch set, it leaves so much room over here to throw the football on this corner route. And because we're in man, this guy has him, and he's going to be out of place, and you get the corner route coming behind him versus inside leverage, which is not as good. This is the way you're supposed to play it because you have this leverage on this corner. But you can see once the play gets started, CD Lamb's going to come out here. Boom. There's a, now, now you see the leverage. The leverage is inside. Now, if he was outside, he would follow him into this guy. But because of the coverage, this is the proper way to play it. You see, he's playing inside leverage as well because he has to cover all this, and he has everything coming to the inside. You cannot get beat across your face, and that's why he's playing inside leverage. So this is just the perfect call for the Cowboys versus what the Falcons are playing in his corner route. And look how much room he had to throw this football and how much area he had to come down with, and it makes it an easy pitch and catch for the Cowboys. So just a well-designed play, a nice job of them putting that formation with all the room to work on the outside. And unfortunately for us, we was an inside leverage and not able to get a good play on the corner. I want to thank you guys for joining me for Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. I'm DJ Shockley, and we'll see you next week.